please just like ignore the mess behind me. I just, I don't know. Girl, you fine as Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and it's beautiful to meet you. Today I'm doing a total hashtag beauty guru video and I'm doing a shower routine video. And I don't know what like made me decide that I wanted to do this, but I want to do it. So that's what I'm doing. If you guys didn't already know, I have been vlogging all week. So make sure you go check out Monday's video. I posted my very first vlog. Maybe my second one is up now. I don't know when this is going up. So my second one is probably up by now. So go check it out. I'll put the link in the description box or, you know, just go to my channel when you're done with this video. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. So my shower routine is very basic. I just, I don't use anything crazy. Um, when it comes to shampoo, I switch it up between my big shampoo from Lush, which I freaking love. I only use it sometimes because I feel like it's like a, a delicacy and I don't want to like overuse it. But it's really nice. It smells like ocean. Like it's just so like, it smells so good. It smells so good. And then it really gives my hair like a lot of like volume so I like to use that if I'm planning on blow drying my hair just because I feel like it looks better. If I don't use that then I just use my John Frieda anti-frizz shampoo and conditioner which I love this. Um, it's not too expensive but it's good enough where I feel like I'm using something better than like something cheap and damaging and I don't know I like the way that it makes my hair look too and smell so it's just all around a good product. Then when it comes to body wash I usually stick with Bath and Body Works. Um, this is the one I'm using right now. I really like it. It smells like summer and ocean and waves and it just smells so nice. And I like to use a loofah. Um, I'm like, I don't know, I don't like washcloths that much. I like loofahs better. I like how they get all, um, the soap gets all, what's the word? What is that word? Lathers? Is that the word I'm looking for? When it gets all lap? I don't know. But I like when the soap does the thing, which it's all bubbly. I don't know. But I really like this stuff. Bath and Body Works has like the best body wash, so that's what I've been using. Then I also like to use the Summer's Eve Cleansing Wash, which is like a women's body wash thing for like their nether regions. Now you have to be careful with things like this because it's like you don't want to put it like inside you, but like it's something that you want to like it's something you can use for like the outer area I guess it's like sensitive um, you just want to be careful with it because like I said it, you never want to put like anything up there <laughs> I feel like this got like real TMI but it's just like you don't want to do that so but yeah I just like to use this just because I feel fresher and cleaner and I just really don't want to put like Bath and Body Works like harsh not that it's harsh but I don't want to put like something harsh like in that area if you feel me then I do like to use a face wash so right now I'm using the elf face wash. I just bought a new one that I was hoping to try, um, but I haven't gotten to try it yet, so I should probably just use my e.l.f. one first. But I really like this. I don't really see, like, a much, like, it's not like I have bad acne or anything. I just like it because I feel, if I don't wash my face, I feel like my face just feels like there's dirt on it, so I like to use a face wash just to, like, make it so my face feels nice and fresh. When it comes to my shaving routine, I really don't use shaving cream. I only just use the razor and sometimes I'll put like the soap lathering and shave that way. For the most part, I just have my legs wet like in the shower. I don't really use shaving cream or soap and I just use a Soleil razor. These are disposable. They come in like a pack of five. I really like them. I think they're like the best disposable uh, razors out there. So if you're looking for a good disposable razor, I recommend the Soleil ones a lot. They're my favorite. But then for like the bikini line area, I do have the bikini zone gel that you put on. And it's like a cooling gel and it just makes it so that you don't get as much razor burn. Because I get really bad razor burn, so it's just not very cute. So I like to try to avoid that. But then moving into my after shower routine, I do follow up that Bikini Zone gel with the Bikini Zone cream. And I like this stuff a lot because it has lidocaine in it, which I just talked about this in my June favorites, July favorites, July favorites. I just talked about it in there and it like has like a lidocaine in it, which numbs, um, you know, the area. So if you do have razor burn, it doesn't hurt as bad. And it's something you can use right after you shower and shave, or it's something you can use if you start to develop razor burn. Um, I like to use it right after I shave and like the days after because it helps keep the razor burn away. Or if you do have it, it keeps it from hurting. Um, I really like this stuff though. I'm definitely going to buy it again. I like to use my Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion for my face. That's my favorite thing to use on my face. <laughs> it's sensitive, like it's good for sensitive skin. I don't really have sensitive skin, but it's good for sensitive skin, which means it's good for me. Um, <laughs> I just like it. It's just like something to keep my face nice and smooth, um, nice and soft. I like to keep my hands and my face soft because, you know, it's moisturizing your hands at the same time. 
I like to use my OGX Coconut Mist Body Oil. Um, I like to use this a lot on my body after a shower just because it's like an oil that you just spray on your skin and then you rub it in. And A, it makes you smell super amazing and like tropical. And B, it just feels super nice, especially on your legs after you shave. It helps to keep that burning feeling away, especially if you're stupid like me and you don't use shaving cream. But <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, I recommend it to people. So if you're looking for like a... Because it, it's kind of nice. It's different from lotion. It just it has a different vibe. So if you don't really like to put lotion on after showers because you feel slimy, maybe try this because it doesn't make you feel slimy. And some people might say it makes you feel greasy, but I don't think so. So I don't know. I really enjoy it and I would recommend it if you're looking for something. Lastly, I'll put my Pantene Overnight Pro leave-in conditioner. Um, whether I'm showering in the morning or at night, I'll still use this in my hair. I feel like it doesn't hurt my hair, so I'm going to put it in. It doesn't have to be overnight because um, like, I'll leave the house with my hair wet anyway, so it doesn't really I really like the way that this stuff makes my hair feel and smell and I feel like that's helping to keep my ends look so nice considering how long my hair is getting and I haven't had it cut in a while so I leave some of that success in my hair to this product so if you're looking for a good affordable leave-in conditioner that I feel like would probably be comparable to It's a 10 I'd recommend the Pantene one plus it smells so good. But yes guys, that is my shower and after shower routine. This really random video, I hope you don't mind seeing like a beauty guru type video from me. Um, I just was inspired to do this for some reason, I don't know why. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.